Uh, my name is Sabina. I'm an interpreter and I speak English and Russian. Um, for somebody thinking to become an interpreter, I would say make a habit of reading the news every day. I know it can be depressing sometimes, but it always, always helps to know what's going on in the world and what's going on locally, in your community, in your country, on your continent, because you never know what's going to come up in your interpreting assignment. I had clients talking about Harry Potter during my court interpreting assignments, and I had clients discussing politics during um, a very formal uh, networking event that I was interpreting. So I would say number one tip is read, 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 and uh, make newspapers, Financial Times, The Economist, uh, Time, become your best friends. Uh, how I prepare for an assignment, I would say, well, in addition to common knowledge, you know, build a glossary and read about the subject matter and listen to previous uh, speakers on the subject, you know, there is a wealth of information on YouTube. I would say I would prepare for an assignment also mentally. Uh, first of all, get a good night's sleep. And secondly, I would say just maybe uh, center yourself. If you are a fan of meditation, meditate, uh, do a bit of yoga, have a walk in the park, whatever rocks your boat. Because as interpreters, we channel lots of information and we process information basically four times, you know, as we hear it, as we speak it. So it's very, very important to take care of our mental health because that improves the quality of our output, of our interpreting, and it also improves our quality of our life, I would say. Um, since becoming a member of the Chartered Institute, I would say that the Institute gives me this amazing sense of community. I don't feel, I no longer feel, I would say, as this lone freelance interpreter who emerges out of her house every now and then in the middle of the night to go, <laughs> to be driven by police car to, to station to do interpreting. I would say that Chartered Institute gave me this sense of community, this ability to, or opportunity to interact with other interpreters, learn about other markets, other languages, and generally just to get out there and be very proactive in our work. The highlight of my career, I would say, well, um, to be fair, as a legal and court interpreter, 98% of uh, my work is client privileged and highly confidential. So I only get a chance to talk about my work if I do some public talk or lecture or workshop. So in that regard, um, I would say the highlight of my career was interpreting for Irina Hakamada. She is a prominent Russian political activist, she's a journalist, she's a thinker, and I would say even a philosopher. And I remember reading about her. She was, um, in 2002, she was one of the first people to engage in negotiations with terrorists during Moscow theater hostage crisis. And she was also nominated for Nobel Peace Prize. And she was mentioned by Time magazine as one of the top 100 uh, world famous women. And then um, suddenly I was on this stage in Winchester, England, next to her, interpreting and how she was sharing her views on uh, Russia and geopolitics and world situations. So that was, that was remarkable.